Developing off the top, more than 200 laws taking effect today throughout the state of Florida that were, were passed through the legislation in Tallahassee. And some of the bills making headlines have to do with permitless carry, education, and even immigration. And demonstrators are now in Homestead. That's where Local 10 Syrah Onward is. She leads us off tonight with our top story. Syrah. Laren and Sinella, this protest, this rally out here at, at outside Homestead City Hall is just getting started, but a lot of people have a lot to say about these new laws. You're already seeing people gather out here with their signs, with their messages, ready to speak out about the slew of new laws taking effect today. Among them, one of the strictest anti-immigration laws in the country. That is Senate Bill 1718. Let's go to that video now. Earlier this morning, there was a meeting of immigration groups in Miami to come up with strategies for those impacted by this law. The law invalidates out-of-state driver's licenses issued to undocumented immigrants, requires hospitals to ask patients about immigration status, allocates more money for migrant relocations, and requires businesses to use a system to verify immigration status for employees. Some are concerned their work and health care could be at risk, but supporters of the bill believe the state is addressing an issue with federal, that the federal government has failed to address. Also taking effect in Florida, the parental rights and education law. This law expands on Florida's earlier passed law regarding gender and sexual identity and how and if it's taught in schools and expands the previous law to the high school level. The law bans classroom instruction on sexual orientation or gender identity from happening in all grades K through 12. The law also limits the way teachers and students can use their preferred pronouns in schools. A new state law also bars transgender people from using the school restrooms associated with their gender identity. Also in effect today, Florida will become the latest state to allow people to carry concealed guns without a permit as long as they can show their ID. This does not apply to a lot of places like schools, government buildings, and businesses that choose not to allow guns on their property. So back out here live in Homestead, this Freedom for All rally is just getting is just kicking off, but there are dozens of people out here. I think I would predict about 100 and people, uh, estimate about 100 people are out here right now, and more people are just looking for parking. Again, it's just getting started, so we're going to speak to some of the people out here and I'll have their interviews uh, on the six o'clock news. So again, a lot of thoughts about these laws. We named about three or four of them just now, but there are a lot taking uh, into it that are going into effect today. So we're going to speak to some residents, some Floridians about how they feel about all of it. And I'll have more on it coming up at six. Also, for, some, for more information on these laws, we have details on our website. Just head to local10.com. But that is the very latest live here in Homestead. Syrah Onwar, Local 10 News.